Okay, we should be very soon seeing the content. And we're live on our Ask Me Anything Sunday live session. So this is this is us. Um, ask me anything. I hope you can hear me fine. Let me know if you can. Whoever comes in here first uh, can, of course, ask me questions. We'll we'll try to go over some um, some of your questions, some of your uh, you know burning questions that you want me to answer. It could, of course, be style related, um, any sort of fashion related, anything you um, you've got a question about. We can probably answer it. Uh, here collectively, so um, probably I want to tell you quickly what I'm going to do this week. Uh, so this week I've recorded already uh, sort of four episodes of what I'm going to be doing. Um, there is definitely a, a big one. It's all to do with a um, um, Sue Studio. I don't know whether you've heard. Uh, about that. This is a... Um, um, hey, David. I bought glass... I, I bought Guess sunglasses for 12 quid. Was it a bargain? Um, yes, I would say it was. Uh, let me just... Uh, let me just put you here on the actual chat so people can see what we're talking about here. Um, so David is asking if um, if a twelve quid sunglasses from Guess is the actual uh, bargain or not. I would say um, it all depends what it's made of. Um, it's probably there is some merit to the fact whether it was um, you know a sale price and what was that coming from because if if it was originally uh, you know a hundred pounds and you got it uh, down for twelve that's definitely a bargain. It basically means that at some point in the lifespan of that uh, sunglasses they must have been a hundred quid. So that's basically all it is. Um, so yes, so I guess if you if, if you got that um, you know for twelve quid that's great. Funny enough, I've actually bought this for fifteen quid today as well. I've been looking for a wallet for a bit uh, for a good sort of few weeks now because my previous wallet got stolen or I lost it somewhere. So I was kind of looking for a different wallet. I used to have normal wallets where you would have you know your normal. Uh, sort of compartment and then you will have your coins compartment in there as well what I had uh, obviously that wallet got lost so this time around I've got that wallet that has got this little clip in it uh, and I and I thought oh, it's sort of worth sharing that with you because that little clip is actually super useful for having you know money or receipts or anything like that it still hasn't got the sort of pocket for the coins but at least you can um, you know you can keep some uh, some stuff in it so that's from guess so that's uh, answering uh, Dave's questions about uh, about guess um, there is another question how do I so Olanika Olanika I think I'm butchering this, but don't worry, let me know if I'm pronouncing this right. Uh, how do one wear a navy double-breasted blazer, smart and casually? Well, I mean, I don't know where, where do you live and where you're from, but, uh, for instance, here in the UK, uh, our summer is, um, is nearly over. You know, we, we slowly going into the autumn, hence my uh, turtleneck jumper today. Um, but let me just show you what I've got. So, I happen to have this sort of navy blazer. Um, this is just a, uh, a blazer on its own. I haven't got a, um, a, a trousers for it, so it's just a jacket. This is kind of an old school um, from a company called McGee. I don't know whether you can see that okay. Uh, but it's a company called Maggie. It's a, I think it's a French company, um, and it's a, it's a sort of good, well-made, 
piece of uh, piece of clothing, and basically what it has, it's obviously a double breasted with the uh, you know side vents there as well, um, sort of nice detailing uh, buttons there. So that would be that sort of. I f I hope that you're asking for something uh, like that. Uh, if if you don't, then obviously let me know in the comments uh, below what you're actually asking about. But if you're asking how to style this, well. There is probably a few things we can do. First of all, I would always start off with um, some sort of white uh, shirt combination. So here are my mannequin, my Alfred, and I would go for something like white shirt. I would go for um, a sort of nice dark uh, sort of red tie, for instance. Uh, because that would nicely complement the, the sort of the you know navy blazer. Um, you could also go for anything turtleneck like this. I think I've got like three or four different types of turtlenecks from last year, where I've got uh, I think like grey and sort of dark red, uh, navy as well. I, I'm actually weirdly fun of um, of, a, of a complete navy structure. I, I pulled this off a few times last year, where I had um, sort of navy turtleneck, navy double-breasted overcoat and navy chinos and what I then had for instance was a, a an orange watch or some sort of uh, other accents like a, um, you know any sort of bracelet here or or nice sort of socks or anything like that so I would say you can definitely style it with a very nice white shirt but you can also go casually with turtleneck like this I don't know your physique I don't know whether you like turtlenecks or not but that's I guess going to be coming back very very soon as well hope that answers your question David uh, will my bum look big in them what in the uh, in, in guest sunglasses or in this wallet. Uh, I like the clip. I think uh, Rich <laughs> David min means the, the, uh, the wallet itself. I mean, what I like about this wallet is that it's actually super thin. Uh, so that's what I wanted as well. I want to have two things. I want to have the RFID uh, protection and this gives you the protection from the outside. So they, they sort of this slightly thicker on the outside. So apparently the metal cover is there. I don't, I don't know, I haven't checked it. Um, but also the fact that you you can just sort of, it's never gonna be bigger than that, which is quite, quite cool. Salvatore is asking, wallet with a coin pocket equals purse. <sighs> yeah, I, for my entire life, I had a, I had a, a sort of wallet with, um, with a coin pocket, but then, you know, it's, it's all good. It's, it's all nice not having that kind of wallet. But then when you all of a sudden receive lots of coins because you, for instance, give someone 20 pounds, they say, oh, sorry, I haven't got any other change, but I have to give you that in, in the coins. All of a sudden you're like, oh, okay, so I'm right now carrying like 15 pounds worth of, of money in, you know, like some sort of, you know, bullshit coins and you move and, you know, the coins move with you. So that's the only downside of not having a wallet with a little pocket in there. Um, so you have to decide how often you're actually going to pay cash or card and you know how big of a problem that's going to be right um Olenica is asking mcgee is awesome uh i have same with gold buttons <laughs> yes there you go uh problem solved uh yes i think i'm actually going to be selling that mcgee um jacket i'm i'm trying to keep my wardrobe extremely lean so if you look at my uh, you know my wardrobe itself i've got i've got like one two three four five i've got like five blazers maybe six blazers because i'm selling this one this has just been sold on ebay for like i think 110 pounds so i've just sold this blazer it's it's actually a very nice suit from vitale barberis canonico um it would extremely nice um in a lining so i really like that one um i've got like two suits from suit supply i've got two suits or oh, three suits that have been made just for me by different tailors that i was testing for my mate to measure people and i've got that mcgee and that's it so i need to create a room so that's going the mcgee is going to have to go as well um 
I'm weirdly thinking of selling uh, that sort of one of the made to measure stuff that was created for, for me by the tailors. I may even sell one of the suit supplies. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Because usually you're gonna get a very nice price for your suit supply, so. Oh yeah, and also I've got that ridiculous uh, orange one that I showed you before in one of my lives. I don't even know whether you want to see this, but this is my double-breasted mistake from a company called iTaylor, uh, if you happen to use them. I don't think they are around anymore. I've, I've checked the other day just to see whether they improved anything on their website, and I could not find their website, so I don't think they're around anymore. Uh, I don't think I'll be wearing that. But yes, so that's what it is. David is asking, socks are important. My favorite socks are Duchamp's. Eh, what's yours? Well, <sighs> socks is a difficult one because I um, sort of got some of the socks from China uh, just to test and see whether I can sell them under my brand, whether I can white label them. Um, they were all right. Then I got, then I went to PT Womo in, Jul in June this year. Uh, and I got in touch with two companies. One obviously is Happy Socks, everyone knows Happy Socks. The other one is uh, Pantherella. It was a, a, a Leicester UK made uh, sock company. And um, yeah, and basically I like Pantherella better because what they have is a sock that goes right up to your calf. So actually I, I, I prefer anything that is like super long. And I realized that um, now, where I've been obviously using for my entire life normal socks until I start using the longer socks and I'm thinking I'm never going to go back to normal socks. So I would recommend you to try any socks that are sort of slightly longer than usual because what happens then is they're going over your calf. So obviously your calf muscle, if they go over that muscle and they're obviously not too tight, they're going to sit there for the entire day. So that's that's what's beautiful about sort of slightly longer socks. Whereas if you've got sm you know sort of smaller socks, um, they're going to be obviously moving about um, you know underneath your big muscle there, and they're just going to go up and down. And I've just made that weird movement. Don't don't make that weird movement. Um, okay, so um, so yeah, I haven't got a favorite brand. Whatever is the longest sock, I've been trying even to get some of them from Turkey and Italy and places like that. But of course, it's it's extremely expensive to make them there. So, uh, but I, I, I'm still looking for a sort of wide label brand for, for myself. What is the best, BB is asking, what is the best outfit to wear for someone who has recently, who has, who has a resigning hairline? Outfit to wear. I think what I would say here is I would embrace it. I would definitely not try to hide it. I think that's the that's the one thing that people are sort of going weird about, sort of trying to hide that they are going grey or they're going bold or they're going, you know, sort of uh, the hairline is moving up. Um, unless it's like super comfortable uh, for you, I would I would just I would just own it. Uh, you know, then it doesn't matter if your suit is 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 excellent and it's properly made and it's properly fitted and it uh, you know and you wear white uh, crisp shirt and you wear clean shoes like your hair is your it's your least concern like you uh, unless you've got all those pieces in place you shouldn't be worried about your hair like we obviously worrying about our big ears or big nose or wherever else uh, different things we've got going on but that's not important as long as you've got this um, uh, sort of taken care of people don't be actually looking at you and judging you by you know whatever else you've got going on so I wouldn't be worried about that I would just make sure that my clothing game is 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 spot on that's what I would do okay David is asking a midliner I Taylor is still online uh, okay I've, I, I don't know, I haven't spent that much time, but I had a look quickly on, uh, you know, trying to find them, and I know there was other companies. I think it was iTaylor. Sorry, it was a company called Taylor for Less, that's what it was, and I don't think the Taylor for Less is, is around anymore. 
So a very good place for socks is TK Maxx, David is saying. Yes, that's true, actually. I got some of my happy socks from TK Maxx, and that was, um, you know, that was a very, very good choice. Uh, what's your favorite skin peel? Um, the, <laughs> it's like, what's your favorite camera? The one that you use, right? The one that you can use. What's your favorite, whatever, the one that you can use. And the same for skin peel, the one that I can use, meaning the one that my wife, for instance, uses. So I can just uh, sort of use whatever she's got. So I haven't got a, a proper brand. I'm sure she did all the research for that. So I don't have to worry about this, but uh, whatever she's using, I'm using as well. So uh, I, 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 I wouldn't be able to answer that. Uh, but David, that's a question to you right now. What is your uh, favorite skin peel? Uh, let us know and uh, enlighten us on this. Um, on this situation. Right, we've got, um, yes, we've got Frederick, hello, S style your life, uh, a guy who um, uh, has got a YouTube channel as well. I think, uh, Frederick, you've given advice to sort of um, uh, younger people, I would assume, right? Uh, who sort of are maybe just over teens uh, and want to, you know, between probably 15 and 20 years old. So if any of you right now watching this, you may as well go and check uh, Style Your Life uh, channel. Um, Frederick's a good guy, gives good advice. Um, so go and check him out. Richard saying charcoal skin peel. I think I've seen you doing that. There you, that was embarrassing, but yes, I remember you doing that. <laughs> Kidding, but charcoal, right? Uh, that's that's another interesting one. We, um, you know, there's been a lots of research about the charcoal sort of whitening skills of charcoal, right? And 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 skin peel and wherever else. So, I guess um, I guess it must work. I, I I don't know exactly, but I would assume it's it's uh, it must be doing okay. Um, okay, okay. So, what else? Um, oh, I want to show you something. Uh, today I went to s to buy something that I thought I may need for the upcoming season, which is obviously autumn this year, autumn and winter. And look what I've got. It's a denim jacket. And I've been, I've been sort of wearing this denim jacket in our plus 20 Celsius degrees today, and I was absolutely roasting. But I think that denim jacket's going to stay with me um, for good. It's uh, it's obviously a company called Levis. You, you probably know them. Um, and if you have not uh, heard of them before or or do anything, then then obviously go and check them out. But that's the probably most popular jean, um, you know, making company in the world and uh, I went to a place called Cheshire Rogues you, if you haven't seen my review of Cheshire Rogues you can find it on my channel go and check it out but basically a, um, a Cheshire Rogues is a fantastic designer out, out at place where you can get um, sort of the you know majority of our favorite brands uh, for 30 40 50 percent uh, cheaper than, uh, than when you get on the high street and I literally got this jacket that is actually a very cool jacket I think in my humble opinion for like 50 quid uh, so um, so it's a very very good purchase uh, I think I'm gonna be loving this uh, you know for next for next few we weeks and few months I'm gonna be definitely rocking that one Salvador is asking charcoal is a con he's saying the best skin pill is a is a shave um, yeah I, I don't know Salvador you see that's um, uh, I think there's been lots of research on this, but how good that research is, I don't know. But um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about charcoal. I know people who've been selling charcoal white whitening kits, and they've been saying to me that they don't believe in them, uh, you know, themselves. So, uh, so I'm not too sure whether they, they work or not. I have no idea. How did you go with your um, Dior Sauvage? Um, I nearly finished my Dior Sauvage. Believe it or not, um, I'm just looking at whether I've got it here somewhere. Um, but what I realised is that probably I was overdoing it um, because 
it's so powerful that obviously one spray is like one puff but but it's like for a half a second that's what you should be doing for one puff and i sometimes been going tss, 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 and it's like that it's equivalent of like 10 sprays of normal spray so i think i've been slightly overdoing it uh, so maybe not um, <laughs> maybe not the best maybe not the best thing but uh, but I need to finish it and I think I'm going to be going for that as well um, but what I still have is this um, some of you may be familiar with that but um, it's a it's a Comme de Garçon or whatever they, they called I had it last year I got it last year so I think I'm still using this and doing still using the All Sauvage and I may be doing something pretty quickly with one of the um, fragrance online shops in the UK maybe some collaborations so we'll see if I can get some more samples there so why now is asking what color trousers can you wear with that dark blue denim jacket oh my god what can you not wear with that I find it's hard as only I have green tan chinos and black dark blue and light gray jeans a a any of those everything I mean e on the on the dark cold days i would i would keep it dark uh sort of i would go for uh for dark for navy i would go for a dark tan i would go for um you know maybe nice sort of chelsea boots sort of um everything else so i, I would i would actually go and play with um depending on what sort of day and whether it's sun shining or whether it's dark whether it's raining i would sort of play with that because that jacket's gonna be it's gonna be my favorite friend this year or this season for sure so i would go for um, darker colors for dark days and some sort of brighter even yellow yellow chinos you know that could work well with some nice double monks ah, pff, what can you not wear with that uh, every man ben hello how you doing uh, best online tailor for suits you know that you probably know better than I do um, so I, I don't know I think my dog wants to come in oh yeah one of my one of my old dogs well not older but it's like five years old he wanted to come in but I think there was some fireworks outside so um, <laughs> so he decided to come in Right, um, best online tailor for suits, every man, Ben, I don't know. Um, tailor for suits, if you mean made to measure, then I wouldn't recommend anyone. If you mean best suits, then, I, then period, then I would recommend, um, you know, obviously suit supply, so. Well, you know that already. Um, David. Women go mad for Dior Sauvage, yes, or do you mean Dior Sauvage or do you mean the Comme des Garçons, David? Um, congrats on 1K, thank you so much, Ben. I, I think uh, we are due to do something, I think. I'm, I'm driving past Stoke every now and again, so I think I'm, I'm, I'm due to stop there and film something with you. That would be, that would be really cool if we can do something. Uh, rather than online, you know, we can do something face-to-face -face if, you, if you fancy it. Salvador is saying the majority of products that are charcoal have more black coloring than charcoal. No doubt charcoal maybe. I think Ben, didn't you do something on charcoal uh, like white paste and uh, you know like a toothpaste and stuff like that? Maybe you can just um, you know put uh, your two cents in it as well. Uh, by the way, you got a thousand subs giveaway. <laughs> I was debating this with my team, with my uh, my assistant. Uh, Salvador and I think we're going to do something but I think that's going to be instead of a live episode I think we're just going to do another um, sort of um, episode I don't know what we're going to do whether we're going to film it somewhere in town or we're going to figure something out but there, there, there will be giveaways there must be giveaways I would like too many products hanging there and uh, they need they need to go to, uh, to you guys um, what's your favorite anti-shine face cream david you need to let us know what you're using i've got no idea i'm not using no anti-shine face cream why do, why do you have to use anti-shine face cream let me know i don't know um yes so why now i would say use whatever you uh, you've got in terms of colors but I, I would i would just i mean turtleneck anything would go with that i'm good at um a casual <laughs> shit at suits <laughs> um are you going to be influential? Right, <clears throat> Ben is asking, 
Uh, yes, most 95%. I'm meeting um, Antonio Centeno in November in London. So I think we're gonna we're gonna have a good chat and a beer and a curry and whatever else. Um, so I think we're gonna then decide what's happening in StyleCon. I know StyleCon is happening, but whether I'm happening as a part of it, I don't know. I think I would like to I would like to go. There is so many people I want to see again. I've got some uh, started some business connotations with some of the uh, people at StyleCon. There is um, you know there is. I mean, I've met so many guys last year. I've met the AJ Harbinger from Out of Charm, amazing guy. He already told me to come back. He he asked me to uh, sort of you know stay at his place and and hang around for a bit. I met Raphael from uh, obviously Gentleman's Gazette. He's an amazing guy. Um, what's that beard shave thing club? Um, I've forgotten his name, but there is that company that makes sort of beard oils and things like that in America. So I've, I've met these guys as well, and obviously Antonio and Aaron. So there is like lots of people, lots of friends to go back to, if you know what I mean. And the prices are like so, so ridiculous. You know, you can fly to Atlanta from Manchester for like 400 pounds. Starcon's going to cost you 200 pounds, maybe, uh, you know, entry ticket or 100 pounds or whatever that is. Uh, and then you know a couple of days of accommodation. It's it's so doable. Um, ah, Richard is saying that he meant Dior Sauvage. Yes, but I was overdoing it, and I and I had that pointed out in my face that I was actually um, sort of smelling too strong. Uh, so uh, I need to I need to sort of slightly go down a notch on Dior Sauvage because I was just like spraying it as if it's the other end, but it's not. It's actually very strong. Um, Yes, okay, Ben. I'll, I'll, I will, we'll make some arrangements. Know that charcoal tooth powder works a bit, but not massively from my trials, and it's also very messy. Ben is saying, "There you go." Um, he was asking this before. Um, yes, yeah, Salvadora. So uh, I know. I remember Ben was doing some um, uh, reviews on his channel, and I think you were. I think you were pointing that out that that, that it's messy, that it's not nice. Um, it gives my is the skin a matte look, David's saying. Uh, oh, the, the skin, the anti-shine face cream. Yes, I don't know. I haven't been using that ever, so I don't know. I, I even, I mean, weirdly, right? Beard brand, that's the one. You my guy, Ben. Beard brand, Eric Banholtz, yes. Uh, I probably spoke to Eric, I don't know, good sort of 12 hours till 5 o'clock in the morning one night. Uh, we were just talking about brands and branding and how shit my branding is and how awesome his is. Uh, but it was all in a, in, a, in a good spirit of Eric. If you if you ever watched anything of Eric's, um, he's a good guy. He's he's an awesome guy. So, yes, if you have chance, go to StyleCon. You meet amazing people. Um, Yes, 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 yes. I was talking about something, I forgot about what I was talking about. Laura Pure and Matt is excellent. Okay, Laura Pure and Matte is excellent. Uh, let's have a look, Laura Pure Matte. Okay, so that's like, what, seven pounds or something like that? Six, seven pounds. Uh, and what that gives you no shine, but that does that does that do anything else to your face? I don't know, uh, but it's not that expensive. Anti shine if oil is skin. There is number seven. Or one is the best one. Number seven is the is that the brand for boots? It used to be. So it's like a their own version of um, sort of high end stuff, right? If you suffer from slight greasy skin or moisture, that makes your face uh, shine free. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I mean, maybe I never use it because I'm just sort of not having that type of face. I haven't got a complexion that it's very difficult to manage as well. Therefore, you know, I'm very often sort of all I'm doing is literally um, sort of, you know, wiping my face or cleaning my face and that's it. Okay. Um, so I was talking to you. I was talking. To, I know I was talking to you about what's going to happen this week as well. So I'm doing a review of brand called um, Suit. It's, it's Suit Supply Sister, which is 
uh, Sue Studio. It's for women. It's a very interesting brand to me. Um, that, that's the one to look out for. Also, I'm going to be doing, I had a, I had a um, belts sent from a company called Core Essential. I don't know if you've ever uh, anyone heard of that company before, uh, but it's a, it's a company called um, Core Essentials. And what they have is obviously, you know, belts. So I did the Anson Bell review and Core Essentials saw this and they sent me, uh, you know, their version of what Anson Bell is. And it's interesting. We did it with Marcel again with my, my nephew. So, so uh, some of his comments are, are absolutely gold. So uh, I'll, I'll let you watch that as well. Um, ben is saying, every man, what products do you use in your hair at the moment? I'll show you. The, the only product that I'm using right now is Lyrate, Layrite, however you want to call this. Uh, it's this, um, you know, matte cream. And I know, Ben, you the expert of, um, of that, but that's the one that it's like medium hold. Uh, smells like, smells like amazing. Uh, yes, so, uh, so that's what I'm using. But also, I'm, I'm, when I sort of go travel on business, I very often forget things. So I um, end up uh, buying some random cheap stuff at the airport for like five pounds, you know. Um, so that's what I've been doing as well. Um, <laughs> you have a face that only mother can love. Thank you so much, David. Appreciate it. Uh, Salvador, I know um, I've put the address out. It doesn't matter. Uh, people can uh, send me send me nasty mail or gifts or dead rats in a post. That's fine. That's okay. Uh, Layrite are supposedly decent. Um, I need to give more of their stuff a go. Yeah, I mean uh, that was um, uh, that was recommended by by my barbers. Uh, you've probably seen this as well. If you have not, go and check it out. Uh, I've done a like a review of my barbers, how he cuts hair. It's a it's a guy called uh, Ross, um, and he's got his own barber shop, and he recommended that. He's got like the entire selection of that in his shop. So I thought. I think it cost me like 20 quid. I think it's around 20, 25 quid on online as well. So that's more or less what it is. Uh, Boots have a matte potty. It's excellent, says David. Uh, yes. I think, I don't know. I mean, Ben, maybe you can speak to that. What's the sort of, um, you know, best in terms of price and sort of quality. And I know you've reviewed like, all the Pete and Pedro's products and, and all sorts of things like that. Uh, what is, in your opinion, sort of good uh, potty or, or some sort of matte finish um, kind of stuff? Because I know it's your it's your realm more than anyone else's. So uh, so maybe you can speak to that as well. Um, okay, okay, okay. What else have we got? Right. Um, what else am I doing this week? I'm doing another, so so the review I was talking to you about uh, is gonna be going up as well. Um, Core Essential, the Suit Studio. Also, I'm gonna do a video about, I'm just editing that now, about style mistakes and sort of five style mistakes that I make or four or five style mistakes. But basically what it is, is, is um, um, it, it has got lots of my old pictures when I was um, obviously younger and, and I thought I'm stylish, so it's going to be a good laugh and that video as well. So I hope you're going to enjoy that as well. And I've got some other videos planned uh, to shoot this week. So we'll see what happens this week. Right. VO5 based is decent for sure, says Ben. Uh, Fish Hardcore Potty is a beast for the price. Osmo is excellent online. The fiber paste is best. Wow. Okay, some good stuff there, guys. If you want to uh, just check out those products, probably I'm gonna hmm, I'm gonna do that because I know the chat doesn't then translate to comments. So I think what I want to do 
just copy that and put that in my notes. Um, so I can just put that in the comments, Ben, for anyone to have a look at um, when this light is finished. I made my got to be three pounds. Oh yeah, got to be, is that the company in the UK, right, that makes the putties and things like that? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I think, <clears> who <throat> was that? Paul McGregor, I watched, uh, you know, a good friend of mine, Paul McGregor, he puts uh, a video, I think this week he put a video about how to style or how he styles his hair. And I think what he had there is he had uh, sort of showing the sea salt spray and like a volumizer and things like that. I think that was a good video. I think Ben, I think I watched one of your videos as well when you were reviewing some of the products. Um, so you were doing obviously, you know, creating that volume first because then the product is just to hold it so i think it's okay um as long as you sort of style it prior to sort of putting products in and it's kind of a a dry hair i think then you're pretty much good to go yes schwarzkopf got to be is three pounds david is saying david was the guy that is supposed to do a a, a video uh, with me about bigger guys because David is a is a sort of you know bigger gentleman um, and he always uh, asks me about style advice and uh, he's asking me and giving me advice where he got his stuff from so I really would like to do a video with David so David again I'm asking you when can we do this because that would be fun video just to meet somewhere in town in Liverpool walk about you know put two microphones on and just walk about and just chat and see what happens uh, you know and I'm sure out of that we can sort of create a decent video so yes uh, Salvador is saying fiber paste hard or normal Ben can't imagine the Rooney paste is much good nowadays for modern haircuts in fact I've got practically stopped retailing the Osmo paste yeah it's good question, Salvador. It's good that you asked, Ben. There is a there is a good uh, there is a gold video showing my terrible hairstyles coming up from when I was younger. I love that. I think uh, I think that's some sometimes when I think about what to create videos about. I'm obviously looking at like what is this you know how useful is that video going to be to, would be to me if i was you know 10 years younger or 15 years younger and i think seeing someone making style mistakes or seeing someone how he brushes the hair or how he cleans his you know skin and how he dresses for occasions like it's um it, you know it's pure gold it would have been pure gold to me so uh, i think creating those videos for some other people is is always is always good so i believe ben you've also done the first paid gig is that correct can you tell us a bit more about that if you're still around? Yes, David is saying that he's six foot and 24 stone, which, you know, it's it's absolutely fine. How can hell, you know, if you um, if you were to play rugby or anything like that, you know, you'll be uh, you'll be the guy. So uh, it's obviously super cool that you you are cool with that. But I guess the problem is that if you go to Top Man or if you go to Primark or if you go to H&M or if you go to Marks and Spencer, you cannot just get your clothes, um, you know, to your specification, to your size. And then what do you do? So uh, David will be a perfect example to do that kind of video with him because, you know, it's OK for me to talk about, you know, style this, style that, go to suit supply, go this. But David is saying to me, like, suit supply is not doing that sort of size. Suit supply is not helping him enough to get his sort of best look. So where does he go? Uh, so it will be interesting to sort of talk to David about that. So hopefully we can do this. Um, Sal oh, yes, Ben is implying Salvador. He's saying the it's a fiber sculpt worn in the green lid top and gray container. I hope you know what. What are you talking about, guys? I've got no idea what, did, what you're about, but that's good. Yes, first pay gig with the modest Mac wallets. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I think I saw this. I'm very careful with the brand deals, um, but the products are legitimately good. Yeah, I mean, yes, I think that was the time when I was looking for wallets, and you popped up, and I'm thinking, you're reading my mind. Like, what's happening here? And I was looking for wallets, uh, and then I lost my wallets, and I thought, I definitely have to have a wallet. And then I was walking about 
with no wallets for like two or three weeks uh, because I couldn't decide on one. I like bought one, but it was shit. I didn't like it. I was like, oh, is that, am I going to be like, you know, should I buy and go and buy some on Amazon? And I was like, ah. Oh. So then I went to Cheshire Oaks and got myself that wallet that I showed, um, you know, at the beginning of this video. Because someone was asking about the, um, they made some purchases at Guess. So I said, oh, I've got like a wallet guess as well. And it's kind of a thin wallet with like, um, you know, a, a little sort of silver clip inside. Um, and it's a, it's, a, it's a very nice wallet. And what's important in wallets, they need to smell leather. If they don't smell leather, they're not good. So you need to smell money and leather. So that's good. Um, Yes, David saying, I have to uh, shop smart, 58 chest and 22 neck. <laughs> there you go. Figure that one out, guys. Um, okay, Salvador is saying, I was wondering how you got the original fiber paste uh, to do anything other than spiky mohawk. <laughs> that is the one I've tried. Uh, yes, so um, yeah, hair conversation. It's something that I've been sort of purposely staying away from um, on my channel because I'm just not comfortable in talking about this because I, I you know, I, I literally go to the t uh, to the barber and say, like, what would you recommend for my hair, for this haircut? He would say, this, yeah, can I have that tub? And that, that was me, you know, that's, that's my um, uh, sort of story with hair. But I know Ben has got like a full cupboard, I believe, of products, so yes. David is saying that he shops on eBay often. Um, I've also, I think Dave was one of the guys that inspired me to do a bit of a digging on eBay. And I found this company that I've done a video on as well called Put This On. If you have not seen this, uh, go and check out my channel. Type Put This On, put this on and you'll find it. But well, basically, it's a, it's a company um, that do something called eBay Roundups. And those eBay Roundups list like lists amazing products for like amazing prices on eBay. Uh, it's it's eBay USA, but sometimes they ship in the UK as well. Uh, but it's it's actually very good. You know, they they obviously uh, creating that list very carefully, uh, and it's a it's a it's a well curated list. My dog is right now um, sort of not happy. I'll show you my dog. Don't know whether you can see this. Hold on. I don't know whether you were able to see this. I don't know whether you, what can you see, what can you not see. Yeah, so the dog is just there, <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> yes, <laughs> making noises. I've got two different socks as well, two different color socks because maybe that's how I'm how I'm rolling these days. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Um, any other questions before we all? Go to bed. Uh, best cheap watches, uh, Ben is asking. <sighs> Let me just show you something. Or maybe not. I was looking for a watch that I had the other day. Yeah, oh yeah, it's, it's here, it's here. Right, so. Um, it's a watch from company called Cartel. I don't know if you've heard of them. They were sort of making some fuss at some point uh, online uh, and they were uh, sort of okay price-wise. I think they were around 60, 70 pounds, uh, but they're very good watches. You know, they can do like, they can engrave your, your watch for whatever, um, you know, whatever message you want. And also um, they can, um, it's 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 a decent like you remember those sunglasses what what they were called those sunglasses that were like all over Facebook at some point uh, like a Spanish brand uh, like next day delivery they had some ridiculous prices for decent sunglasses and I think the same company right now opened the cartel watches and they're doing the same thing like lots of Facebook advertising they they with you everywhere you go uh, if you visited their website but. They are decent watches, you know. They are, you know, the, this the the strap is is removable strap. So this is a a, a Harris tweed strap. So that's really good. Um, you know, I had this watch maybe for like um, twelve months now, 
and it's been it's been going strong you know the battery lasts okay it's pretty precise it has got a date as well and they cost like 60 quid i think i got this to review but at the end i was just like talking to them and i didn't like some of the bits and pieces around their pricing and i got in touch with them and said listen you know yeah i don't like this you know can we change this can you do some special offers for me and no one actually got back to me so i and i was a try and try and try and no one got back to me so I thought maybe they don't want me to review it, I don't know. So I, I end up keeping the watch but not reviewing the product, which was weird. Um, Richard Hughes, uh, right, so um, Ben is replying to Richard's about uh, Goof Bit Snipper Tool and you will save loads on eBay. I actually have not heard of that. I was looking for some snipper tool at some point. Um, yeah, there is also, I was planning on doing some video on eBay itself as well. Um, I'm just looking for that Goof Bid Snipper Tool. eBay Snipple in auction. Goof Bid, never heard of that. Very nice. So probably have to have an account, Ben, I would imagine. Is that free? Uh, let me just, sh let me just, let me just show you what I, what I've seen. I should be able to show you this. Right, so this is the um, the Goof Bid Snipper Auction Tool. Join for free. How do I use this tool? Hints and tips. Yes. Eva Tools. Wow, lots of different tools. Look at that, sort of auction early, cancel bids. Goof bid. Right. So I wonder if I go to YouTube and I've put goof bid, if no one has done a review on this, Ben, you have to be the first person to do it. If not, I'll do it. Review. Or oh, like instructions of how to use it. Um, yeah, okay. Someone has done it. Tip one how to buy items cheaper using Snap Tool. That's exactly what I need. Okay. I'm going to be. I'm going to be paying some close attention to that. So, yes, well done. Thank you so much, Ben. Um, saves loads. Okay, I bought all of my Thomas Pink shirts on there. Yes, and they've shown me his collection of Thomas Pink shirt. That was actually amazing, uh, and they were all from eBay. So well done, Wendell David. Um, Richard, it costs a small price per month. But you can easily make it back on one transaction. Uh, all right, okay, so costs small per month, but you can easily make it back. So that snipper tool costs some money uh, by the sound of it, but that's okay. Um, I like the French shoe polish. <laughs> I love sunglasses as well, Dita sunglasses. Yes, I remember you were saying about that, uh, David, last time we spoke. Yeah, uh, Ben, I've seen this uh, happening with Super Chats. I think even I was approached uh, just now to sort of enable. I was like, Dah, you know, forget about it. I, I don't care. I want people to enjoy it rather than think about it. I maybe enable that just for gigs and giggles next time around, but I, I haven't done it yet, so it's okay. Uh, but I've seen, I've seen um, you know, that option popped uh, uh, up every now and again, so... I need to, I need to maybe do it. Uh, oh, oh, Ben is saying that he did probably a review ages ago. Oh, is that still on your channel? Can you put that on your, on that, um, on that channel, on that chat message? Can you put the link to that video? If you still got it on, on YouTube, that would be great. Safa shoe polish. Is that what you bought from from eBay, David? As well, um, is that what you're referring to? Uh, I've seen a very good um, again tutorial on how to polish your shoes and uh, and how easy it is to get this sort of mirror shine and things like that. So um, there's a couple of shoes that I'm uh, I'm really sort of looking after, making sure that doesn't never get scratched or damaged or anything like that. So I'm usually uh, using the extra polish on those. Uh, super Asian awful, but yeah, I'll try and find it. Okay. Well, I've seen uh, those reviews that I saw quickly on YouTube. They were also like three, four years old. So we can just have a laugh together, Ben. Uh, if you uh, if you're gonna put your 
your your face when you were like 17 or something like that. Uh, good, good stuff, guys. Uh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, I, I, you know what? I've learned a few things here on this chat as well. So thank you so much for that. Uh, ben, thank you so much for contributing. David, as usual, you're the star of the show. Um, but let me know, David, if you are around this week or a weekend or something like that. We can just have a, have a walk around in Liverpool city centre, talk about style uh, and talk about, you know. Well, let me post a web link. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, maybe I have to somehow enable that option. Sorry, Ben, I, I you know, I'm a enable chat, enable slow mode. I don't know, look, spam messages. Maybe it counts as a spam message. I don't know. Try, try now. I don't know. Try now, uh, Ben, maybe maybe that's going to be okay now. Um, okay. Carless for weeks, okay. Good. Yes, we can sort something out, Ben. Um, and Dave as well. We need to, we need to definitely do something uh, together, gents. Brilliant. It was obviously nice to talk to you again. We we could talk about other things as well. I don't know if you've ever done anything on Reddit, Ben, or any of you guys, whether you part of Reddit or whether you had anything to do with uh, this monstrous of a, of a website that Reddit is. Uh, but I've recently had some close encounter with it. <clears throat> I think my content was shared there. I've got an account on Reddit and people were responding. So they found my account because whoever was posting this obviously tagged me as well and then i got some hate mails and i had some nasty messages and things like i it's reddit is weird and then i i think i posted on the same uh forum or subreddit as they call it and i posted one of the one of one of the one of the links um and uh, to my youtube i think because the guy posted uh, a youtube link to my uh, street style so I thought, oh, maybe that's something that people like. Uh, so I posted uh, one of the links to uh, to my street style again, and my account got banned. I had an abuse from moderators. I was like, oh, sorry, I didn't do anything wrong. Like, you know, people want to watch this, but they said, oh, it's self from like self promotion and stuff. It was so weird. Like Reddit is so freaked up. Like, oh my god. Uh, yes, uh, Ben is saying Reddit is dangerous, weird place. It is. Uh, you can be my bodyguard, Dave. Um, but I think the best way to be my bodyguard on Reddit is when you've got a super powerful moderator access to Reddit. If you've got that, that I will pay you to protect me. How is that? Uh, no, it's super weird. I even was talking to like Reddit consultant. I paid a Reddit consultant uh, some fee to uh, to understand whether I've got any any chances to. Uh, to, to uh, you know, to produce a content for Reddit and how would I do this and pe people enjoy it because what I saw as well on Reddit, believe it or not, I uh, you know from those two or three links that I posted to my YouTube, I got like a, a two thousand views on my on my videos, like insane. If you look at my analytics, analytics going like that, and all of a sudden it's a spike for like three days and then it's normal and that spike is like. 1500 views from reddit so of course the traffic from reddit is like on a reel uh, but of course unless you get banned uh, or, or it works unless you actually get banned uh, so you need to figure it out and obviously self-promotion is also difficult uh, because people don't like that so someone needs to promote you uh, but you have to pay like oh, i don't know i don't know i haven't figured it out i was talking to this consultant and he was like confused as well um like how we can do this but but i'm I'm positive about Reddit. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm liking a bit of a, a sort of hating mechanism. I think there is lots of haters there, but that's that's good. Uh, I've got an idea: undercover shopping as a big guy. Oh, for the video, Dave. Yeah, I think it's going to be uh, a lot harder to pull off rather than me and you uh, just talking on a selfie stick. Um, you know, to an iPhone and to two microphones lapeled and things like that. I think any secret shopping uh, is going to mean that we're going to have to violate some rules, and I don't know how um, easy those shops going to be on us. You know, if they're going to find out, so we have to figure that out. 
Uh, I know I know I had some some mails I had to respond to after my Chesh Rogues trip uh, and when I did the Chesh Rogues uh, design and outlet review I had some emails from Chesh Rogues uh, asking me questions good polite but it was like yeah people watching these stuff you know okay doc gents ladies whoever isn't here uh, thank you so much for spending time with me thank you so much for hanging about uh, a massive you're safe uh, thank you so much Dave uh, you, you're my bodyguard for sure. Brilliant. Have a good week, guys. Stay stylish. And don't forget to ask me any questions, anything like that. Um, watch Ben's content. Watch Frederick's content. He's, um, you know, um, at the beginning of this chat. Um, good stuff. Happy place. Make sure you, um, you know, you stay stylish. That's the most important thing.